tenho a certeza. Pegando... Caralho! Você... Tu não jogou! Fiquei caí neste bait como um pássaro maluco, mano. Isto foi o único clickbait, mano, que eu caí, mano. Bem, deixa-me ver esse vídeo do Mr. Beast. I'm about to work this 10 million dollar job as a professional athlete. And I'm going to show you the difference between this and getting paid 200,000 dollars to be an astronaut. This is insane. Getting paid 100,000 dollars to dig up real dinosaur bones. Oh my god. And so many other jobs. Starting with the lowest paying job I could find, gold panning. That can make as little as 1 dollar a year. But we're going to make million. No, não pode ser. Um dólar por ano, não pode. So many other jobs, starting with the lowest paying job I could find, gold panning. That can make as little as one. Yeah, no, what, man? One dollar a year. But we're gonna make millions. Statistically not. Basically, gold panners put dirt in this mechanism. And with enough shaking and water, all of the gold is filtered out to the bottom. Ah. But it's not very easy. Because after five hours of searching, I was definitely not rich. Oh, boys! I found gold! No! How much is that little nugget worth? That is... Two cents. Exactly my point. Nice. You could do this for a whole year and only make a dollar. But luckily for okay, us, we're working jobs that pay over ten million dollars per year. But first, let's see what it's like to work a job that pays a hundred thousand dollars per year. Digging up dinosaur bones for a museum. And yes, these are fake because they're all dead. So this is just one of our pits. Are these actually dinosaur bones? They are. I've been here 17 years. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. This is your thigh bone right here, and it's over four feet tall. For comparison, here's that dinosaur next to six corals stacked on top of each other. Keep in mind, I'm 6'5". These are mini jackhammers, essentially. How you doing it? He has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea. Now, this may come as a surprise, but we are god awful at this. Whoops! Be careful. It took us five hours to make any progress whatsoever. But even with us holding him back, with the help of the expert, we were getting somewhere. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on. Pessoal, eu tenho a certeza. Pegamos em todos os viewers que estão aqui no chat e vamos para lá e vamos fazer boeda buracos. Tipo, em partes. Tem que encontrar boeda ossos e dividimos o dinheiro por nós todos. Mano, faz. And you let me and Carl touch that? Absolutely. What if we messed it up? Josh, how much does this weigh? Probably gonna be two, two fifty. I mean, yep. This is one tenth the <laughs> yeah, weight of Nolan's mom. Oh! Oh! Now, because this bone is so ancient, we have to cover it in a cast before we pick it up, or else it could literally break in half. Let's hope it doesn't fall apart when we lift it. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Hi, way, baby. Good job. This is the first time any humans have ever carried this bone. Just YouTubers carrying. Wow, até assim tão pesado. What the fuck? Hey, dinosaur bone. Uh, Front of the table. One, two, let go. Watch your hands And believe it or not, this dinosaur bone did find its way into a museum. But because museums are boring, let's head over to the $200,000 job. Astronaut training. Aí é bem. Os museus a perder clientes depois deste vídeo. Training with NASA. And my first mission, learn to drive the official lunar rover. This is what will one day be on the moon. Yeah, this is how we're going to get around the surface of the moon. Why are they letting me drive? Porra, desde o momento em que um gajo consegue connect com a NASA, mano. Com a NASA, mano. Open the door! How do I work this thing? Push forward on the stick. Right now? Yeah, go forward. Push whoa, forward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't kill us. I'm scared. You're good. Oh, this is amazing. Go ahead and twist. To the right? To the right or left, I don't care. Oh my god, there are cars. Is this street legal? Uh, street legal around here. Oh, this is <laughs> amazing. Why are we driving sideways? I haven't figured out how to straight it yet. And even though what? I'm driving like I'm actually drunk, I still managed to get us to NASA's lunar training yard where the real test is going to be. Oh, we're off-roading. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, this is getting bumpy. You're going to let me drive it down this hill? Is there seatbelts in this thing? There's a seatbelt we don't use right there. Then. Yeah. <laughs> They've got seatbelts they don't use. That's that's helpful. Oh, that's way too steep. Oh, no way. Are we really going down? Can I get that seatbelt now? <laughs> oh, my God! Wait, we're going down the hill stop sideways. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Lift your hand so they can see I'm driving. I, he's actually the left. I'll stop. get up and let Nick... No, 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 no sit there! No! Go sideways in the crater? Sure. Hold me, Carl! Hold me! Landon, I'm just gonna say it. You wouldn't survive on the moon. Uh, I reckon I could do it. Next in training, NASA showed me around their enormous space no, facility. Fire. Holy crap. This
O chat GPT ajuda bastante, pá. This is the second largest pool on Earth. Which I'll be honest, it just felt like they were flexing on me. Especially when they showed me the space suit. As far as anybody's concerned, once you try on a space suit, you're an astronaut. Make it be a trace. There was a catch. When you go on a spacewalk, you have to wear a diaper. You're in the suit for 12 hours. Wow. There you go. It's like an actual real adult diaper. Okay. So be careful. This yeah. is a space artifact. It's flown on the space shuttle several times. So real astronauts have worn this. Yes. Keep in mind that astronaut peed in this. Have you peed in this suit? I not in this suit, no. Okay. When's the next mission? What are you doing a, a year from now? I can make time. Okay, okay. And the final step of my training was the craziest thing I've ever done. They were gonna let me touch the moon. Now, now, lean back into it because it weighs 9,000 pounds. Okay. This weighs 9,000 pounds? Oh, era brutal. Era this brutal. is the largest collection of moon rocks on display. Ele irá lua era do caralho. I can't believe they're letting us do this. You realize we're just a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my god. These are just straight up on the moon. What are the odds you let me touch the Genesis rock? Zero. Yesterday, we dug up a dinosaur fossil, so I'm an expert in this kind of stuff. Can I touch it? No. no. I tried. This material here is actually wow. lunar soil. No way, bro. You're actually touching the moon right now. Oh, that's wild. So that tube has dirt from the moon and has not been opened since it came back. And since you haven't checked in theory, there could be an alien. Yes. Well, it would be the first from the moon. Wait. The moon. <laughs> you guys are right. And after we found out aliens were totally real, we headed to the stratosphere for our next job, where Carl and Nolan are going to fly a plane. I've never flown a plane before. We have no idea what we're doing. Welcome to the first day of flight training. I'm not joking. For the boys to somehow fly a real plane, all they have to do is land one Grand time in this flight simulator. All right, here we Algum are. Algum episódio para we'll breve, para não sair ainda, pá. Oh, oh my God. Vamos and ver. And crash. Oh, and crash. Oh, and crash. You crashed the plane? He eventually did Muito land obrigado. successfully, which, for whatever reason, gave him the keys to fly this real plane. Yo, I'm freaking out. Hey, if you can't do this, Nolan, please, for love of God, let me know now. Oh, oh my God, I'm going to fly a plane. Oh, my God. As ready as I'll ever be. Oh, no. I'm pushing 60. Kind of wobbly, but uh, now just pull back a little bit. We're taking off! Hey. Oh, oh my God! Your life is in my hand! He is literally controlling this entire thing. Yes, he is, all by himself. Ambulance has never caused a crash, right? Ah, uh, well... Watch this, I'm gonna turn right! No! Turn right! Oh, oh, my God, God, we're sideways! I can't believe that I'm controlling this thing! Look, no hands! Stop! Oh. Oh, sweet Jesus, you poor off! Oh, you're fine. Alright, we're gonna go over there in a minute. We're gonna go back and land. Oh my god, I forgot. It's That's the one thing. It's always a challenge for people. Alright, I'm descending. My mental health is descending also. This is the part I crashed in every time in the simulator. I had no fun oh, ah! We're gonna land right there on top of that runway. Oh my god! Wait, oh. we're too close, right? Keep, oh. it, keep it pointed right down the middle. Oh my god. Easy. Keep your hands on. I was genuinely surprised that the job that pays one safe. million dollars. Tá pronto, tá pronto para ir trabalhar para Exiget. Este está pronto. Algum spot pick do Ariário. Dollars a year is hand modeling, but only if you're one of the highest paid hand models in the world. She makes five times the average salary of a doctor by letting people take photos of her hands, and her resume is stacked. She's hand modeled for almost any brand you've ever heard of. Her hands are even insured for one million dollars per hand. Caralho, você, mano, não estou a precisar de umas mãos. Pá, eu acho que tenho uma mão boeda bonita, mano. Só que eu tenho um dedo torto, estás a perceber? Olha aí, este dedo está direito. E este dedo não dá, mano. Por isso eu acho que eles não podiam contratar. Ó. Tipo, este está direitinho. E este não estica, mano. Ó. Já tenho que fazer boeda força. Mas, mano, minha mão direitinha, mano. Mano, eu acho que um milhão. Um milhão. Um milhão por ano. Tô pronto. I can't wait to see this in action. So to start us off, she examined our hands. I didn't know that today was going to be the day that I'd find new insecurities. Okay, so immediately I can see the nails need work. 
Of course. Agreed. These hands suck. Okay. Look how much hair is here compared to Carl. Can I get paid more for that? The skin texture might be better here with these two. Can you change me? I don't know if I can work miracles, but um, <laughs> I haven't seen your hands yet, Jimmy. Your hands like glow. That's crazy. Why are your hands so glossy? <laughs> I don't know. Are my finger structures good? Uh, yeah. No, they're very good actually. But again, we've got cuticle issues, skin issues here, but that can all be fixed. Our hands clearly needed work, so we had to prepare them to shoot, which was pretty easy for me and Carl. But for laser. Not so much. Oh, God. Bro, you can make a rug out of all that hair. <laughs> this hair's been with me my whole life. But you gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna make a million dollars. And now that my hands are no longer disgusting, we're gonna model for an actual magazine. And these photos are literally gonna be shown on billboards all across America to promote these watches. That's petrifying. Yeah, no, no pressure. Okay. I mean, the watch looks good. <laughs> I honestly thought this was gonna be easy, but we were actually horrible at this. It looks like the watch is on a snake. <laughs> Bro, this is so hard. Can I see the difference with you doing it? Oh! What? Unreal. The product looks better because her hand doesn't shake as much. But being a hand. Man, what? Oh! What? Unreal. The product looks better because her hand. Man, yeah, man. É, mas também tem unha... Mano, olha bem essa unha, mano. Aí é bem, isso é uma unha que está ali a roelas, mano. É igual a mim, meu. Doesn't shake as much. But being a hand model isn't all about wearing nice watches. Sometimes you have to model weird things. Why are you squirming? Because I see a man holding a snake off camera. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, Carl, breathe. Put your other hand out here and kind of support his head. Yeah, of course I'll see. One final thing I need to throw in the mix is Immortals of Avium, the sponsor of this video. Just hold that right there. Okay, perfect. Now now he's modeling the watch, a snake, and this game. Yo, look at that. That oh, looks crazy. Boy, Immortals of Avium is a first-person magic shooter where you play as a battle mage named Jack trying to save the world, Carl. Can he save me? <laughs> this time I need you to model the Xbox version of the game with the scorpion. No way, bro. You want to grab between there and here. Is this actually safe for the animal? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Get it, get it, go, go. Talk, talk, and go, uh, and talk about the game. Right. You can sling 25 different I types of magic those. spells and unlock 80 different talents to customize your character to suit your play style. Carl, you think Immortals of Avium are going to love that photo? Immortals of Avium, I hope you love this. Just hold the scary animals, and then we get to join the NFL for our final job. The people who created Immortals of Avium also helped make the award-winning campaigns of Halo, Call of Duty, and Dead Space. We love those campaigns. <gasps> oh, it's moving. And the cool é engraçado que ele tá a falar sobre o jogo e o gajo tá nem aí, mano. Olha para a cara do gajo. Created Immortals of Avia also helped make the award-winning campaigns of Halo, Call of Duty. Olha para o Carlo. O gajo não tá nem aí, mano. Duty and Dead Space. We love those campaigns. Oh, it's and the coolest thing is, they put me in the game as a boss. And if you kill me in the game, you get more gold than any other boss the game gives you. Oh! Nice, nah, so I got you, I got you, just don't look. <laughs> oh. Immortals of Avium is out now with a free trial on Xbox as well as PS5. And there's a free demo available on Steam. I feel it under me! It's under my hand! We were doing such a bad job that we had the hand model step in to ensure the sponsor would approve of the photos. Click the link in the description if you want to play Immortals of Avium right now. I'm retiring as a hand model. And even though our photos weren't great, we still got them on billboards all across the country. And now, it's finally time for the job that pays $10 million per year. That's right, I'm about to literally join the NFL. This is literally my dream. And if you think this is all fake, here I am signing a real contract. Ah, yeah? Então eu vou fazer esse vídeo sem milhões, man. Eu vou para jogador de futebol, meu. Eu vou para a equipa do Ronaldo, pá. Para a equipa C. To become a literal player for the Buccaneers worth ten million dollars. It might say we're not going to pay it, but it at least says that dollar amount. No, no, focus on the dollar amount. And now it's official. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. So for the next forty hours, I'm officially a player. You're officially a player. I promise I won't let you down. I promise he will let you down. <laughs> By the end of my contract, I'm going to be running out with the team on the field in front of sixty thousand fans. The first step uh, is weight training. It might be too light. Let's go up. Let's go up. Easy. I don't actually think they're paying me the ten million. Am I seeing struggle? Are you a winner or are you a falcon? Easy! Yeah! I've noticed they yell at you a lot when you're an NFL player. Can you set it to whatever the strongest player on your team does? I'm gonna see if I can do one. You can do 12 of these? Holy crap! He's not a normal human. Uh, I would hate to be hit by him. One more, four, yeah. four. Four, four. Easy! Oh, oh, Why 
guys in the NFL so hard. How does this compare to their typical workouts? Pretty pathetic. Hopefully the lightheadedness goes away. It will. You get used to it. <laughs> okay. Up next was my first practice at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training facility. So naturally, I met my coach. Oh, Mr. Beast. How's it going? How are you doing? So good. good. And my new teammates. Nice to meet you, man. My name is Shaq. My kids love you. I love your oh, videos. Really? The candy bars, the Carl gummies. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> And my new teammates couldn't believe I actually signed with the team, so I showed them my contract to prove it. This is the same one you guys signed? That's I think you got more money than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> but if you read, it says, unless it's canceled in 48 hours, we're still gonna cancel. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at the, the parentheses right. for sure. Hey, you're official, welcome to the I know, thank you. Hey, my hey, new teammates over here. Mom. These guys make us look like children. They're so big. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> I'll be honest, yeah, I've never played football before. So they threw me on as kicker, which, oh yeah. Oh, I was terrible at Mr. Beast, we need you out. We got to get ready for tomorrow. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'll keep it. And since I've never played quarterback before either, uh, I, I just threw one up as far as I could. Oh! 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 <laughs> That's touchdown. In case you didn't know, the team I just joined is the same team Tom Brady won the Super Bowl with. So I thought it'd be funny to surprise him. Oh, we got him. Tom. Oh, I almost got hit. TB, what's up, baby? What's up, TB? What's up, bro? I have a friend here who might literally die of happiness if you no, say hi to him. You can't do this to me. You yeah, can't do this to me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> After that, our practice just evolved into shenanigans. I, ah, little man. Oh, oh, three. Wow. Too small. Wow. Yeah. You can go back to filming. Yeah, all right, guys. Let's see y'all. Some people still uh, had some questions about my two-day contract. So afterwards, the Bucks set up a press conference for me. We obviously have a big game. I'm expecting very serious questions only. Is this just a publicity uh, stunt? Why are you really here? To make the best video possible? Yes, it's a publicity stunt. I clearly am not an NFL player. Jimmy, how does it feel being on a new team? It feels great. To be honest, they've accepted me way more than I thought. How much playing time are you expecting? Uh, none. And after explaining over and over again that it's just a stunt, I went to go get measured. <laughs> like, yeah, there you go. Four and a half. Six, four and a half. Carl, you're six, five. I'm six, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These measurements are key so that my gear and my uniform are all custom fitted. <laughs> this actually looks so good. There we go. And now that I'm suited up, it's time for the official game day. I still don't know why they're letting me do this, but hey, thanks, Bucks. Are you surprised they let me join the team? Yeah. That's my first football I've ever signed. Oh, Jimmy's about to come out any second now. They say if you get up by 100, I can play a play. Do me a favor and get up super oh, high. My. It's his first game. God, his Definitely his last. How is this happening? Man, what the fuck, man? They say if you get up by 100, I can play a play. Do me a favor and get up super high. Man, you pensava que era tipo. A mãe dele ou a namorada dele estava no meio, mano. Juro-te, mano. Pensava. First game, and probably his last. Definitely his last. Enganou-me mesmo bem, mano. How is this happening? Juro-te, oh, isso okay. é. And since this is the only NFL game I'll ever be a part of, the team actually let me lead them out the tunnel. Let's go, boys! Go! Oh, 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 yeah, oh, bye. Oh, Huge oh, shout out to the Buccaneers for making me an official NFL player. It's honestly a good thing I didn't play because if they hit me, I probably would have died. And I thought it was all over there until the Falcons made fun of me on Twitter. So in retaliation, I'm gonna nuke their stadium. Oh. On Twitter. So in retaliation. Retaliation, I'm gonna nuke their stadium. Man, no. Ai, uh, oh man, como assim? Ele podia ter jogado um pouco, né? O pessoal ia compreender que era o Mr. Beast que estava lá. Não iam desfazê-lo. Calma, Mr. Beast, não vamos empurrá-lo com calma. Pronto. Oh, ai, ai, bem. E aqui caí neste bait como um pássaro maluco, mano. E é bem que pássaro maluco. Então, bom vindo à mesma, né? A ideia está fixe. Dá para fazer uma versão dessas em Portugal. 
o pior ordenado em Portugal contra o melhor ordenado. Mano, eu acho que isto eu foi o... Acho que isto foi o único clickbait, mano, que eu caí, mano. Mas este foi, mano. Mais ou menos. Ele não chegou a...